Hey everyone, thank you so very much for supporting my channel. I can't believe I'm over 100,000 views and over 7,000 watch hours. That's phenomenal. I don't think I can even calculate what that means in terms of how many days of watch hours that is. Anyhow, today I'm with my same crew from last week, plus my wife and a couple more kids. We're up here fishing in Blue Lakes. Today, we're fishing at Blue Lake Lower. And I'm going to do a double features today. You know, last week, the salmon season started in the Sacramento River. So this is a two-part video. The first video is going to be showing us catching fish here in this lake. The second part, I'm going to show you how to make a salmon spinner very much like the flying sea. You've seen it from the last year. I make my own. It's called a siren. So when you hear the siren start blaring, then you know I got a salmon on, right? So I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's kind of lengthy, so I'm going to break it up into two parts. Part one will be in this show, and part two will be on the next show. And hopefully after that, I'm going to concentrate full time on salmon fishing. Once again, follow along. Peace out. Hello everybody, today I got the same crew with me as last week in addition to my wife and a couple more of my kids. We're up here in Blue Lakes, but this time we're just going to be fishing lower Blue Lake because it's kind of a big lake as compared to Mosquito Lower Lake. We're going to use pretty much the same thing as we did the last time when I'm up in the Sierra. I try to have a multiple of just about every little thing, especially when I have my wife and kids with me. Uh, I want to make sure that they can be able to catch something. So I try just about everything, power bait, power ball, uh, worms, lures, and as soon as I find out what they're hitting, I'll switch over to that so that my wife and kids can have a good time catching fish. They're not really into fishing as much as catching. <laughs> you know how that is. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Um, WizTech, FizzZen, and Fish Magnet got up here earlier than uh, I did today. They already got two in the stringers. So uh, we're going to see how we do. Right now it's about 11.30 just about to wet our lines, trying to find out what it is that the trout are preferring today. All right, thanks for coming along. Right now I'm trying to search for the fish with this wobbler. It's a ACME Thunderbolt, one quarter ounce, silver. I'm gonna go around and cast it and see if this is what they'll like. Oh, swallow that thing, look at that. Oh, oh look, look how beautiful the eyes are. We attempt to release this guy, but I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh, there you go, it's gone. Ooh, 
Chase after it. Almost got my lure right here. It hit it, but it missed it. Hit my lure, but it missed it. So hey, uh, I'm gonna show you something I did here because people are wondering what kind of rig I use to catch a trout because I normally say, oh, I use Carolina rig. I don't really show you how I make it, but I make these at home. So this is a 24 inch length. You can buy this floating noodle at the Dollar Tree store, cut them to six inches, put a slit in the middle. Notice something different with what I'm doing here. If you see the hook here, that means a single hook. But if you see on this side, the uh, snap swivel, then that means that these are treble, treble hook that's hidden because I don't want to get hooked in my hand. So the treble hooks are here. Watch, let me show you. So this end, I'm going to pull it out. See here, this is treble hook. The treble hook, see? So I won't hook myself, my finger. So I'm gonna hide it here. Hide it inside here. Follow along the arrow. And clip this back on here. Now on this side, it's just a regular single hook so I can just take it off the noodle. And in the end, I got a barrel swivel instead. It's a tiny little barrel swivel see so I hide the barrel swivel in here so it gets out of my way and then I follow along the arrow there you go and yes this is the length of the leader, 24 inches, and I got three of these, 16 inches and 36 inches. So I just put these with a Carolina rig. For this, I'm going to be either putting a mice tail on it, and for this treble hook, I put power bait. That's pretty much it. So the fish that were caught today, fish that were caught today, uh, I did a horrible job of videotaping it, unfortunately, but they were caught on mice tail. Powerball, Berkeley Powerball, and Berkeley Powerbait. I got one grab on the uh, lure that I was using. You'll see that in the videos, but I, I didn't catch anything on that today. Try to chase him down. Time ran out, so we're gonna head down the mountain. Okay, so as you know, here you go. Trophy trap set. That's what we're using. Fish, fish magnet, man. He's, yeah. he's a magnet today. He's calling them all. That's small. Right here. Uh, oh, man, what kind of superhero name is that? Miss Mark. Miss Mark, you can't be afraid to fall down. Yeah. There you go. There you, you got go. it. Oh. I got it. I got it. It's heavy. Ooh, yeah. it's heavy? Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's a whopper. Oh, it is. Look at that. Ooh, it's, I don't know. Where's the net? Keep going. Oh, we, got we got it. We got it. We got it. Keep going. 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 Keep going.
Hey fellas, we're up here in the Sierra, chasing trout once again. We went to Blue Lakes, it's kind of slow. The awesome thing about being in Sierra is that if you're not productive at one lake, you can go to the next nearby lake, which is pretty close by. So we came to this lake, it was very productive. We got fish left and right, but I used the lure. <laughs> I hiked the entire lake. I fished the whole day today and they were not going for the lure. Sometimes you gotta give them what they want and today they want Berkeley power ball, Berkeley mice tails, Berkeley power bait. That's all they wanted today. So we had a great time. Thanks a lot for following along with me. Until the next time, peace out. show you guys how I make my spinning wheel to catch salmon. Now, last week, the salmon season just started in the Sacramento River. For us bank fishermen, that is fishing for salmon from shore, we mainly use spinners. And this is one of our best season to catch them when the salmon comes back in the Sacramento River, through the Sacramento River to spawn. Uh, for the past five years, I've experimented with a lot of spinners. When I first started out, I used the 7-8 ounce flying C. Then I started experimenting with how can I assemble my own spinner. During the past five years, I've finalized my design and I call it the Siren. I started introducing it last year. You guys seen how it works. I've come down to basically eight models. Eight models. So this first part, I'm just going to show you the tools that are involved in making the sign. So let me show you here. First, you're going to need some sort of wire cutter. You're going to need a needle nose. And you're going to need these cool tools to bend the wires. See, that, that tool right there helps you bend a wire like this. I'm going to show you. See? how it makes a bend. See the tools? Helps you bend the wire, okay? And you're gonna need a split ring plier. What this does is it helps you open up the split ring so that you can put your big hooks in there. Watch how it has a little hook right there opens up your split ring, see? So you can put your hook in there. You're gonna need that. A little scissors to cut uh, wires would help. And a simple nail clipper. What do I use for paint? Now, there are like a lot of fancy paints out there. I've just been using my wife or my daughter's fingernails and I have gone down to three really color that I only use now and that is the pink, the orange, and the chartreuse. Those are the only three color that I use. Okay? Um, what other tools are involved in making a spinner? Well, I just showed you right there. You're gonna need some sort of wire. I buy them in a package that comes like this. In the past, I've experimented and I use paper clips. The same one I bought from the Dollar Tree store that comes already coated with different colors. Uh, you can have a, a paper clip that in these three colors and I strain them out and I bend my own wire. I've also bought a roll of wire and I, I bend it using these tools. But I come to the conclusion it's much quicker just go ahead and buy the one that's pre-made already for you here that has already a split uh, a nice ring in the bottom so I bought that in lure parts and pro lures online don't be limited to one location I get my supply from you might get them by searching eBay a much better supply than I get. I just go the lazy route. I just 
go to Walmart or chase things down wherever I can get them as quickly as I can, as inexpensive as possible. That's JU style, right? Okay. Like for example, I bought these right here for a buck at uh, I think it's either Dollar Tree store or Walmart. Okay. Now, there are some things you can't get inexpensive. You gotta pay full price. And this is one of the things you're gonna need some size 2 art treble hook. I bought these to Cabela. It costs a nickel for sure. An arm and a leg. Okay. And you're gonna need spinners. You're gonna need these little blades. Find, try to find the one that matches the Flying C exactly. Okay? The Flying C 7 8 ounce blade. Try to find a supply that can match that exactly. I don't remember where I got these. You're gonna need some split ring. And I try to go with, uh, you know, something about this size, size 4, size 5. Whatever that's gonna be least expensive. I'm gonna show you how to assemble it together later on, but you need these. You're gonna need some bullet weights. Once again, I think I bought these at your local Walmart. It's gonna be a quarter ounce egg sinker and one half ounce warm weight, bullet weight. You're gonna need what is called clevises. These are this little, I'm gonna show you. This little uh, holder that makes the blade spin. There you go. And I'm gonna take the blade and show you. Here's the blade. This is how the clevis goes together like that. See? A blade, clevis. And if you put them in a wire like this, it will make them spin. I'm gonna show you how to assemble that on the next part, okay? You're gonna need to also buy this squid skirt. Uh, this is a four and a half inch. Comes in a pack of five. And once again, I only use three color. It's gonna be either the orange, the pink, or the green, okay? You're gonna need some thick, inexpensive, 20 pound or more wire, heavy wire, heavy heavy fishing line, something that you don't want. I'll show you what I do with that in the next uh, part. One more thing, I also use a vise, which I can't bring out here obviously, but I will show it to you in the picture. So this is the vise I use. I got this vise at uh, Harbor Freight. I don't remember how much it costs, but pretty much that's those are the tools you're gonna be needing as I start to piece these things together. And I'll be showing you that in the next show. So hopefully you got enough information here. In the next week, I'm gonna be fishing in these lake tower once again for chasing down trout for the next week. I'll come back and I'll give you the second part to how I assemble these pieces together to get my sign. Okay? Thank you so very much for watching my channel and for making it a great success. I do appreciate you very much. Peace out.